Hello folks. Well, it's been a while since my last series. And since then, I've noticed a marked increase in the level of flat earth nonsense. This new series of mine is aimed at taming this unfounded hubris while we have a few laughs together. So let's keep the music and begin. Let's begin with some background. Flat Earthers, such as those from the Nathan Oakley sect, or this lot from the Flatsoid sect, have been wildly asserting for over a year now that not only does celestial navigation work on Flat Earth, it does not work on Globe Earth. However, intrinsic to celestial navigation is the longitude and latitude coordinate system. For example, the aforementioned flat earth sects agree that when using a sextant, the elevation angle to Polaris represents one's latitude coordinate. These flat earthers erroneously claim that longitude and latitude come from flat earth. For example, they claim that latitudes rely on flat earth angles by asserting that the plane of the equator of a sphere is in fact the flat earth. Naturally, if you ask how flat earth actually fits on this plane, you'll get blocked, abused, or even met with silence. What flat earthers cannot and do not deny is the fact that there are thousands of people who every day rely on navigation systems that have at their very core the longitude and latitude coordinate system. And using this coordinate system, these professional navigators, such as those from shipping companies and airlines, not only know the direction or bearings between ports, but the very precise distance between these ports. Of course, this distance is vitally important, especially for airlines, because they must be able to calculate the fuel needed to get from one port to another. Fuel adds weight, which increases costs, so carriers are careful not to carry much more fuel than they need for the journey, plus a margin for safety. That said, Earth is indeed a globe, and the longitude and latitude coordinate system is based on spherical geometry. So anyone with a minimal knowledge of spherical geometry and trigonometry can use this knowledge together with the longitude and latitude coordinates to accurately calculate the distance between two places on Earth. Flat Earthers will of course disagree that Earth is a globe and will assert that the coordinate system is based on flat Earth. So on that basis, the shipping companies and airlines must be doing their calculations of distance using Euclidean geometry. This is quite apart from the fact that they must also be using a map that accurately represents flat Earth together with this coordinates. My assertion, and hence challenge, is that no flat Earther can accurately calculate the distance between two places on Earth with different longitudes and latitudes using their longitude and latitude or GPS coordinates without using spherical geometry. So here is the challenge. Consider two ports A and B and their longitude and latitude coordinates. Coordinates to airport A is 0 degrees, 27 minutes and 15.46 seconds west and 51 degrees, 28 minutes and 12.07 seconds north. Coordinates for airport B is 33 degrees, 56 minutes, and 50.45 seconds south, and 151 degrees, and 10 minutes, and 45.94 seconds east. Now firstly, where are these two airports? Secondly, 
without using spherical geometry. Calculate the distance between these two airports to the nearest mile, showing all of your work, formulas and calculation steps. And by the way, over 500 miles out is not considered to be accurate. In fact, it's wildly wrong. Third, explain why it's possible for anyone with a minimal knowledge of spherical geometry and trigonometry to use this knowledge together with the longitude and latitude coordinates to calculate the accurate distance between two ports on Earth. In conclusion, one of the most important processes needed to accomplish successful celestial navigation is the ability to use your longitude and latitude coordinates and that of a known landmark or position to calculate your distance to that landmark or position. No flat earther can do that without using spherical geometry such as Haversign or Vincenti formulas because it's impossible. It's impossible because Earth is not flat. My prediction is that no flat earther will take up this challenge because, as I said earlier, it's impossible on flat Earth. The very fact that it cannot be done on flat Earth proves that flat Earth is absurd. I predict this debunk of flat Earth will be ignored just like the many other debunks I have tabled. Once again, the silly flat Earth hypothesis together with the grift that celestial navigation works on flat Earth is killed stone dead. If you still think Earth is flat after watching this video, then evidence has nothing to do with the reason you're a flat earther. By definition, you're a cultist. Well, that will do this for now. I look forward to your comments and please also click on the like and notification buttons. I'll see you very shortly in the next video. Cheers.